What is going on, guys? My name is Jordan. Welcome to the second episode of Career Mode with Napoli. Um, I was about to say Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, you know, saying it all, the, all those times, <laughs> I almost said it, but no, it's Napoli, of course. And uh, I just want to say a big, massive thanks to all those people that tuned in to the first episode. Thank you guys a lot for your likes, for your views, for everything. Uh, you know, it's 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 a pleasure to uh, to start this career mode here in FIFA 14, and um, I'm really excited for what's uh, what's gonna come uh, in this season. But let's talk about this episode where we're gonna do some uh, transfers. Um, we're gonna do some uh, business here, uh, getting some players, I should say, uh, and we're also gonna play uh, two matches, the first two matches of the Serie A. And the two friendlies that we are that we have left before the season starts, I'm just gonna simulate them, and you'll see right now that because you know it's it's they're just games that are, you know are not gonna uh, help for anything, so they don't really count for nothing. So this is the first one against Swansea City. Uh, I p basically played three Premier League teams in the preseason, and that was kind of weird because usually it's uh, it's uh, you usually play different teams like someone from the some a team from the from the Spanish league uh, or a team from you know from Belgium or something like that you know but it was three uh, uh, teams from uh, from the uh, from the Barclays Premier League so that was kind of weird but it doesn't matter uh, so um, one of you guys suggested that I should go and look at Sher Shirley or Shirl I'm not sure how you pronounce his name but from Chelsea you know how I'm talking about and so I looked them up and uh, I wasn't able to even put a bet on him or anything because he just uh, recently transferred to Chelsea. So, you know, he's out of the picture. Uh, but there was a pl or two players that I was looking at, and that was De Bruyne, and he was available. But I was also looking at Carlos Vela. Um, and, uh, you know, Vela in real life, he's actually done pretty good with Real Sociedad uh, in the Spanish League and, and even a little bit in the Champions League. So, you know, he's a player that... Uh, in real life, he's good, and in the game, he's actually pretty good as well. And 24 years old, 82 rated, so um, I thought I should go for him. I also wanted to get this guy right here, uh, who was scouted by one of my, uh, um, what would you call them? Uh, I guess the scouts, right? The people that go and look at the players. Uh, so, yeah, he was one of the players that I saw right there. And, you know, uh, he's a right back because I was looking at right backs, um, you know, because I need... Uh, another player at least in that position uh, because the other player I think is Mag Maggio or uh, Maggio I guess but he you know he's more of a I'm, I think I'm gonna keep him as a starter because honestly I, there's no better right backs right now in the team uh, but he you know I do need someone as a backup for him so you know I went for him so now we're looking at getting Carlos Vela like I said so I put in a bid um, the reason why I didn't go for the Bruins because if you saw right there, uh, Chelsea wanted a big load of money, and I was not gonna spend. I was not gonna spend. Uh, I think it was like thirty something million for the Bruins. I mean that's that's just crazy. His value is like ten million, so the no way. And so uh, you know, Be Vela looked like a really good player to sign. And so we are going to uh, he, the club accepts. And uh, so now we're going to see if the player accepts 110 million is what he uh, sorry, 110 million, 110,000 was his weekly wages that he wanted. So that's a big boost. It was like 40,000 more than what they were giving him at Real Sociedad. Uh, so, you know, I just said, screw it. I went for it. And so hopefully I was uh, I was hopeful that Vela did come to the club. And now we are going to look at another player from Chelsea. And so I'm, look, it looks like I'm rating Chelsea, right? But uh, this time I was looking at a center defensive mid or center mid. And that was going to be Ramirez. And uh, Ramirez is just a beast in midfield. I mean, he is so good and you'll see right now in the first uh, matches that i played in the i think no, i think i played only one match with him because the first one I, um, I didn't have him for the first match of the season but i was gonna have vela in there he is going to accept the offer and i'm gonna sell this guy valen verami uh you know because you know that's why i wanted to bring in ramirez because i wanted to put in place of him and i wanted to put that a guy uh well i wanted to sell him and you know because Honestly, Ramirez, before I even played a game with Ramirez in the team, I knew he was going to be good because I've played with him before in Viva 13. So, excuse me. Um, so I knew he was going to be, you know, a good player for the club. So we're going to go into the first match. It's going to be against Bologna. Bologna. Um, <laughs> 
I'm gonna have a hard, a little bit of a hard time uh, saying the names of these clubs from the Serie A. Uh, so bear with me. So we're playing against uh, this team, not a great team in uh, in Italy. So you know, um, I wasn't too worried worried about it, you know what they were gonna do. Uh, but it turned out to be uh, not an easy match, the first match in the season, and it was not easy at all. And we're going to get the first chance in the 17th minute with this shot with Hamsik, but the goalkeeper was right there, nothing in that play. But then we're going to give the ball to Carlos Vela, and he's going to score in his debut. Carlos Vela scores the first goal for the club in the season and his first goal obviously with the club so that is great carlos vela uh with his left foot i mean he is a beast with his left foot I, when i used him in uh, fifa 13 ultimate team he was incredible even though it might be different than career mode it was you know it's almost sim similar and he was just crazy crazy good and here it proved that he you know that indeed he was a really good player we get another chance right here and it looked like it was going to go in the back of the net but the goalkeeper was able to save that really really great save right there it could have been the second goal and we're coming at the end of the first half and then again a shot with Iguain going again our Argentinian striker is not going to be able to score but I know he is going to do good for us this season he is a lethal striker he has a very good shot and you know he's just a well um just a really good player you know all around he, uh he's just really balanced in in all the stats um you know the pace is pretty good the shot's really nice in the heading so passing so he's a pretty good player and i know he's gonna do good in the club i just i just know for this uh for the season uh so now we're gonna look at changing some of the players in the 83rd minute you know, it was a, it was a bit late in the game but still I wanted to give some players, you know, a chance to uh, play in this match. So I took out Carlos Vela, I took out Iguain, and our center back Britos, uh, you know, just to give this player some time uh, in this match. And uh, I never really talked about the defense, you know, in terms of like the center backs. Like, well, I'll talk about later because we get a goal here with Inler. This guy, I heard that he had some really good uh, long shots. And uh, I never try. I don't think I ever tried him in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. Um, maybe I did, maybe, but I don't really remember. But supposedly this guy has really long, really good long shots. And right here it looked like he did. I don't know if it was lucky, maybe, but that was a really good shot from outside the box. And the that one went in the back of the net. Really great goal and a 2-0 victory against Bologna in the first game of the Serie A. Uh, so that is really good that's a great start three points for us and now let me talk about that center back situation so we've got britos in the back along with raul albiol who just came in from real madrid but uh britos i don't know if he is uh, i don't i don't know if he's gonna be our center back for a long time for for much longer so in the next transfer window i'm probably gonna look at getting a better center back uh you know he, he doesn't have the best of stats and i think we could do better uh, now we're looking at ramirez who accepted or oh, the club accepted the offer for 11 million um, pounds and so uh, or euros i think yeah euros and so now uh, so now all we got to do is hear uh, from him and uh, to sign him and he did sign for the club so that is great ramirez is our new player um and i was just really excited to get him and for 11 million i mean i thought that was just a really good bargain i thought they were going to ask for like at least 20 million or something like that you know because um these uh in in career mode of the you know the cpu yeah uh, usually wants a lot of money for players like De Bruyne. they wanted a buttload of money but I wasn't going to spend that much for a player like that who's still not even proven and it's really young. So, But we got Ramirez. We got our player, and that is awesome. We got Carlos Vela, then we got Ramirez, and we got the other uh, player, our right back, Oper or Oper. I don't know how you say his name, but <laughs> we got this guy too. So three players, and I think that's going to be it for this. Uh, well, that was it for this transfer window because the deadline, as you saw right there, it was, uh, it, you know, it, the transfer window was over. And so now there is no way we can get any players. But I'm really uh, happy with the players that we got, especially with Carlos Vela and Ramirez, who are going to play a huge part in this season. Well, they are going to be starters, obviously. And so you're going to see right now that they actually did amazing in this second game. So we're playing against Kievo Verona. 
Uh, again, another team that's not too strong, uh, kind of weak. And so it was going to show when Hamsik is going to get the go in the 17th minute. What a strike that was by uh, by Hamsik. That was just really good, really good shot that I didn't think it was going to go in, but it ended up going in, hitting the post. But we're going to see who gives that assist, and that is going to be Ramirez. Really great assist by him. His first one for the club, so he's already showing that he is uh, a really good attacker as well, uh, even though he's a center defensive mid. Then Iguain is going to score his first goal for the club in this season. Really, really great goal right there. Iguain, uh, just a really nice finish. Like I said, this guy is just a really great striker all around. Um, has, you know, everything, and he's going to score loads of, goal, loads of goals. Uh, in this season, I just know he is. So two to zero against Kill Verona in the 27th minute. So 10 minutes later, we got the second goal, and this match was uh, was beginning to uh, to be kind of easy because this team was not. This team was just really not. Um, they were not even getting into to my side, you know, to my territory. So of the goal, so it was just. Um, you know, because they were not a good team to start in the beginning. So, you know, I knew that uh, they were not going to be, you know, having a lot of chances. So, and that was true. They did not have too many chances. And so, you know, that's, uh, it showed right there. But they're actually going to get a really good play right here with Peloshi, uh, Peloski, I think. Um, but he puts this one over the goalkeeper. Thought it was going to go in, uh, but they managed to not score this one. Uh, should have been a goal in my opinion, but you know, it was a little bit tight anyways um, We get lucky that we don't get scored on but that's the pretty much the only play like really really uh, Great play that they're gonna have then we're gonna come in with Jose Callejon We're gonna take a shot and it's gonna go in I thought this one was not gonna go in but Callejon is gonna get the goal really nice And I don't know what was better if the goal or this celebration. I mean this is kind of uh, a ridiculous celebration but it doesn't matter uh, that was a still pretty nice goal right there how he controls the ball then takes a really nice shot so that was a great finish and that was gonna be it at the end Verona again have this last chance and so maybe two chances or three in the game but that was it they didn't have much and we win it three to zero two games and two wins so that is pretty good that's gonna be the end of this episode guys if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh subscribe to the channel for more fifa uh 14 content ultimate team and career mode and so i'll see you on the next video guys i'm out later